everybody. I wanted to show you something here. Got my old Onin um, 5.0 CCK generator. Got it off eBay. A gentleman lived in Gahanna. I live in Hilliard. So it's just across town. Um, paid $750. And also came with a transfer panel. And I got my tools on top and just kind of stuff. I got crap in the garage. I'm sorry about the mess. Anyway, just to test it out, um, got the car battery, Mercury, out of my uh, Mercury, the motorcraft battery, I should say. I've got my gas, um, you know, propane set up with a trash can and a board to hold up the pipe. This would eventually go into the natural gas in my house. Um, the one weird thing about this generator is it seems to run great, but there is no demand regulator. It goes this pipe along here to the inlet of the carburetor, which is there. And then it comes up, and that same pipe hooks into here. So I don't know. I guess they just didn't have a, a regulator originally when this thing was installed. So I don't know. Uh, it has been running. It is hot. Um, I just want to check to see if the if the meters and things worked. What I have going on here is um, these four connections down in here are B positive, one, two, and three. These four little screw connections. And I have those hooked up to this four conductor wire, which goes into this panel. And down here is where they go. And that works the, um, it operates, that, that's remote control for the generator. Start, stop, battery, charging, and, and whatnot. Then, I had some other cable at home. I know this is hokey, <laughs> by the way. Here's the two leads to the 240 volt. The ground is just undone. Normally the ground will come off to here. But there is no ground that I can find in here. I mean, the panel's got to be grounded, and I don't know, like, where it would, but I'll figure it out. This is obviously is just only for a test. It isn't permanently installed or anything. I don't even know if I'm going to use the, the panel or not. Anyway, um, I can show you how it fires up. Normally, um, there's these two contactors down here. The one on the left says line and load. The one on the right says gen. I don't know if you can see that. And as long as there's electricity available where it says line, uh, everything will work. This timer will work to exercise it. This timer here lets it run a certain number of minutes for the exercising. I don't know if you can see this. That's a charger for the battery because the battery would always be hooked up over here. And um, normally this switch would be set on automatic. Let me find it down here. This switch will be set on automatic. Currently I have it on stop. Since this contactor isn't hooked up to my line power, um, this thinks there's no electricity, tries to start the jenny. So what I'll do is I'll take this, set it to automatic, and it's going to crank. And you heard the contactor brrr, as it lost power. Contactor closed and switched back to, I guess it would have switched back to line. Anyway, that's it, that's my setup. My assistant, yeah, it's gonna help you. You're on video. What's up? Are we gonna play now? We are gonna play now. Let me put the battery back in my car and then um, 
and then I'll come on in, okay? Okay. Sound good? Okay, I'll be in in a few. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks, y'all. Have a good one.